Okay, hi guys, just guess what I've just done. I've just recorded a nice seven minute video, explain all the points well, giving it clear, it's stuck to my motto, and guess what I've done? I've just gone over it and just deleted it. So that's silly of me now. We're later on to the evening, we're going to get less people watching. Never mind, eh? So this forecast is looking at snow potential. Uh, I think we have to look at two sets of snowfall one on Sunday and one on Sunday evening. Or the one on su uh, Saturday, sorry, one on Saturday and one on Saturday evening. One on Saturday, I think it's going to hit more southwestern parts of the United Kingdom. One on Sunday, I think it could hit the east of England with some snow showers there. Okay, so this is the GFS Ensemble, and this is what it wants to do with snowfall totals. Look, it takes snowfall down southwestern parts here, sort of through Mount Montanshire, or towards Gloucestershire, Hampshire, Wiltshire, and northeastern parts of Devon as well. Now, this is quite a realistic forecast, but you've got to look at this and say, you've got to look at this and say, look, two centimetres there, one centimetre there across all the parts of England and Wales. So the snow risk is really across all parts of um, England and Wales, but not, not necessarily north of England, I don't think so. So this is where I think snow is going to be shaping up for uh, the next week period. We've sort of got this uh, risk across southwestern parts. This is where I think it's going to be okay. This sort of area here. Why do you think it's going to be so very well? We've got the support from the parameters. Where's the five, minus five line? Well, it's coming in around here. This area here is, is around this. Where's the precipitation? Obviously, we need precipitation. Well, it's around here. So, look, we've got uh, it's around here, but also including this area here. So, uh, this area, again, is in the precipitation zone. Where's the 528 line? Well, that's coming in across here, you see. Uh, sorry, coming in across here, you see. So, again, these areas are actually at risk of seeing that snowfall. Where's the minus... Uh, below freezing dew points while well, they're coming in across here. If you've viewed my video on snow forecasting, you'll learn what this stuff is. I'd recommend you if you go and watch it. Uh, so it's bringing in snow. Uh, all these places here have got the snow parameter snowfall, and they've also got precipitation. Now you may look at this and say, well, South East England and London have got have also got the parameters. Well, I think it might not just get cold enough in the atmosphere profile. It might not just get cold enough to support snow in these areas yet. Yeah, I think that. <coughs> Excuse me, the ground is higher across these areas. We've also got to put the snow. So where do I think it's going to be? Where are these places? West Midlands, Birmingham, Shropshire, uh, Telford, um, towards sort of Staffordshire, towards sort of um, the north, the north part of, um, what is that? What, the north part of Gloucestershire, but also when you go through Oxfordshire. These places, I think, are at a high fall snowfall risk. How thick is it going to get? Well, these areas here could see up to 4 centimetres of snowfall, I think, on the on the highest ground. Could see 10 centimetres of snowfall. But then again, I think we have still have some uncertainty, so I think these areas here are still at risk of snowfall. As the parameters could change, we're still 48 hours away. So you need to keep watching it um, to keep you updated on the snow forecast forecast. I would the snow forecast forecast. Um, I do forecast my forecast at the beginning a bit more... Um, certain as we go through the next few hours at uh, how the snowfall is shaping up. Okay, this is for the 12th of January and this is for um, the rainfall precipitation uh, uh, by 3 a.m. on Saturday. Look, <coughs> excuse me, look, um, we've got precipitation across western parts, but notice precipitation coming to the west. <coughs> excuse me, this is the, excuse me very much, <coughs> excuse me, this is the high resolution Met Office chart. Now this chart really is looking at um, where the rainfall is going to be. There's lots of detail on the high resolution models. That's what they're for, the four details. But you've got to look at them and say, well, um, this is where I think the main precipitation areas are going to Oh, it's updated. There we go. Um, <laughs> this is where I think the main precipitation areas are going to be. So, oh, it's not updated. There we go. Um, it's going to be across sort of western areas. Um, you don't look at the detail on the high resolution charts, at least not before 20, and at least not at 48 hours anyway. The GFS Ensemble, look, by midnight on Saturday, we've got snow showers padding into the east here on this wind. And we've also got minus 858 HPA temperatures. Now we get such low 858 HPA temperatures, we get the lake effect and we get lots of convection. Lots of temperature difference between the surface and air and that causes a lot of convection going there. And we get snow showers across the eastern parts. Where will the snow showers be on Sunday? Well, I think the main risk for snow showers on Sunday is going to be sort of across eastern areas. So sort of across this part of the country here, are looking of snowfall risk on Sunday morning with some of these areas could see a bit of snowfall. Now I think it's across northeastern parts of England, also running through uh, Yorkshire, eastern Yorkshire Norfolk as well. Now these areas could see as much as two centimeters of snowfall. So coming up to an inch now, that's not to cause problems in this country across eastern parts, eastern ca coastal counties of England and also eastern parts of Scotland. Now there's one more thing I gotta look out. There's a big populated area that I'm worried about. It's called London. Okay. Now it's also Kent and Sussex and Suffolk as well. These sort of areas here. 
now that I've got a big question, a big uncertainty about this area now because it's sort of a my very marginal survey. It's getting me stressed out. This uh, the the motto is. Um, the parameters are so uncertain, we've got so much uncertainty that this area could see a lot of rain, but it could also see a good dumping of snow, say two inches, and also we've got a streamer. So I think we have to keep London on Snow Watch too, with it being in the cold temperatures, <coughs> but also mixed parameters. <coughs> Snowfall could crop up here, and it could catch a few people out. Uh, through Saturday night and Sunday. This is not sure, I'm just saying this is uncertainty. Because of the parameters, I think there is a likelihood that the rain could turn to snowfall across southeastern parts of England as well, which is less likely than this area here that I've already talked about. Okay, that's, that's Saturday's done then, and Sunday's forecast done for snow. The next thing I want to talk about is next week's possibilities. Now, the ESMWF, I have to say... <coughs> has been the most consistent model, has been the most reliable model, and the most sensible model in the past few hours, at least the past few 36 to 48 hours, and it's making things much cooler through next week and much colder with the possibility of a lot of wintry weather coming up across the United Kingdom. What it's doing is, it's seeing this area of low pressure div diving south, was like, like all the models are seeing, but then we're building in high heights out to the west, but look what we go through then to go through to next week. We built out heights to the north there at 500 millibar, we've got this trough coming in, 5 to 8 line there across northwestern parts, and we're bringing in this cool to cold to very cold flow from the eastern continent, bringing in lots of snow. This is what we call a snow fest, really. This looks like fantasy land, but it's very high resolution, and it's coming up soon. Look, this is 8 days away already, and we're seeing heavy snowfall, and, and as as soon as five days are actually, so you have to look at this and say, well, we could see the snowfall uh, coming in there. So that's how I think things are shaping up, folks. So one thing to mention is this GFS model. That's seeing things some things go differently. If we go through the ensemble model, look what it sees things to do. It sort of plateaus us out and brings it back into the west. We have to look at this and say, well, this could happen, but it's very uncertain, very uncertain. Now we're getting close today. The GE... <coughs> Excuse me, the GEM is going for cold. <coughs> so is the UK mess of it. <coughs> and Casimir Wine is also going for a very bad cold um, next week, which seems to arrive as soon as possible. Okay, I hope you've digested as much as you can from that. Um, I'm not saying it's going to snow in your area. I'm just saying there's a likelihood of snow in your area. Whether it rains, well, that's as much as accurate forecast of whether it snows. Because I'm saying, what I'm saying is, there's a much accurate forecast of whether it snows and rains. So we get these things together and say, well, it could snow casting, but it could rain at the same time as well. Now, now don't go turning around to me on places saying it's gonna it, you said it's gonna snow and all that because I didn't I said it could snow it could rain there's a possibility for everywhere in the United Kingdom on Saturday and Sunday and next week indeed as ever thanks for watching you can also go to YouTube and check out my videos Twitter Facebook <coughs> <coughs> Twitter Facebook and all the best of it thanks very much for watching and see you later